I want to bring you a unboxing and a installation tutorial and some quick tips about the Google Chromecast. The Google Chromecast is one of my favorite tech things that we have. It's so easy to broadcast, as it says, YouTube, Netflix, and all these directly to any TV just by hooking this up. So I'm going to show you how to set it up and some tips of what you can do with the Chromecast. If I don't get everything covered in today's video, we'll have another video or two. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. Let's get started. This is the box that comes in. Now, this is the the second, I believe the second version of the Chromecast. Previous versions of the Chromecast um, looked a little bit different. They also come with a version that is more surrounded by, or more specific audio, and then now they also have a even more expensive for the 4K broadcast. But this works for everything that you'll need it for, I'm sure, as far as YouTube, Netflix, and all of that. So let's go ahead and get started in unboxing. So peel these little flaps off here on the side. I use this primarily for YouTube videos, but or in Netflix, but we also use it like a screensaver sometimes just to put on in the background. You can display your own pictures and everything. I'll show you that in a minute. This is what this box looks like when you open it up. And here's the first look. Sorry, focusing in on this, you can see the camera and my face. Kind of look, reminds you of something like a Beats or something, doesn't it? But this is what it looks like when you first take it out of the box. This little section will remove. And what is going on here is that it's got like a magnet that fastens to the back. So go ahead and get that opened up. All right, this is what it looks like. This has a little HDMI connector. It connects right to your TV. And then what this is for is to supply the power. And you can do one of two things with this. Most newer TVs now have a USB port. So this piece is just going to connect right in the end. It's really the only connector there for it. I have to flip it a couple times, as you always have to do with USB. All right, so that part's plugged in. Now you have one of two options. Because most TVs have a USB port, I usually just will unhook this power section here, throw it back in the box, and then hook this right into the USB port on the TV. And that will provide it with the power that this needs. If that doesn't work or you don't have a USB connector, uh, just plug it back into the power, it plugs right into an outlet and it'll work the same. Let's move on to installation. All right, for this next part, we're going to, you can see this is a very basic TV, but it has the HDMI port right here. So this is just a magnet on the back. We'll take that. We'll plug it right in. Okay, very easy. Lucy approves. You can hear her in the background. All right, and we'll tilt it up here. And this does have a USB. If you can read that on here, but it says USB. It says for service, but typically it still works to provide power. And we'll know very quickly never get those USB right if this worked or not okay so all right we have the Chromecast plugged into HDMI here we have it coming from the Chromecast going up into the USB port let's power it on okay you go to chromecast.com backslash setup sorry it's all squiggly and once you have gone to chromecast.com backslash setup it will you go on your tablet or phone it will take you to the Google Home app if you don't have it installed go ahead and install it and then as soon as you open it up it's going to give you 
new device found immediately. So you're going to hit setup. You're going to give it a temporary name, hit continue. It's now switching to it. It's connecting to Chromecast right now. And you see it gives you a temporary code on here. Now it says it's connected. It says, do you see the code on your screen? A5, A4, A5, A4. Yes, I see the code. And I'm going to rename this Awkward TV. Now you can choose whether to send crash, crash reports to Google and enable guest mode. And what guest mode does, it allows the people who have devices in the same room to be able to cast without actually being on your Wi-Fi network. I usually turn that off, but you can change that saying at any time. Hit continue. Okay, it's now connecting to one of my Wi-Fi networks and we're online. This is apparently some sort of welcome Let's get going. video. I don't remember ever seeing this when I set this up before, but um, it's been a while since I've set it up. So right now it's getting it's fetching updates, which is any downloads or anything else that it needs to bring in. So you can watch this video when you first install it, and it'll give you some tips on how to uh, install and set up and use the Chromecast. Okay, so now it's all set up. Um, as it says right on the screen, to watch on the big screen, tap the cast button from any cast enabled app. So you've got YouTube right on this. This is the Google Home app. So you got YouTube, Netflix, and all that. What you can also do is while you're in one of the apps, is just hit the cast button. Let me show you what that looks like. We'll pull up YouTube. Or you pull up YouTube, you pull up your favorite YouTube channel, maybe Awkward Bob is your favorite, so you pull it up, and you're watching, so if you've ever noticed this little button here in the corner that pops up on your screen, just hit that cast button. And I'll ask you where you want to cast it to, I'm going to hit Awkward TV, and... You're now playing your YouTube video right on the big screen. Very cool. So, and then you continue to control. You can, you can move the slider on the app, and it'll just depending on the internet speed, it'll do it quicker. Um, this internet sometimes works slow, but there you go. You just move it right back to wherever you want on the video, just by sliding around. You can also control the volume by just controlling the volume on your tablet or phone. You press up and down, and you see I'm controlling the volume by just pressing up and down on my tablet.